And you went to the zoo, too. And you not just only been that, all over this summer. <laughs> not only that, but I had an extraordinarily good time going to the zoo. Uh, so the last time I went to the zoo was, for lack of a better word, harrowing. <laughs> Why? It was horrible. Was it bat night? No. I oh. wish. We actually need to go this year. We've we been to two yet. bat nights. I know. Yeah, they're but coming. Those are coming up soon, too, I they think. They are. They are. We've probably already missed the one for this month, but the one for next month All is right. probably coming up. Now, that being said, last time I went, it was uh, right at the end of the school year. So all of the schools were taking field trips and none of the teachers were watching any of the kids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Both times that yeah. I've gone, I went, to, I went with someone who was in a... Uh, an electric wheelchair. Mm -hmm. The first time, none of the kids were watching. They kept dodging right in front of him as he's trying to go. Okay, in his electric wheelchair. Like, kid, you're the one who's going to lose in this equation. I'm yeah. trying to keep you safe by getting you out of the way. Okay. But on top of that, too, like that, the parents that has kept. to be scary. The parents kept just kind of lazily looking and like seeing what was going on and not doing anything about it. And I'd look at them like, Hey, this this little crotch goblin belongs to you, right? I can see the resemblance. <laughs> are you going to control them, or are they part of the zoo now? Like, is that the plan? Is that right. what's going are on? Right, a feral child oh. who belongs in a zoo. Right, dude. And they were all I've just heard that said about me a couple times. <laughs> well, and they were all just loud and inconsiderate, and you couldn't get around anywhere. It was the worst. Yeah. Um, but this time was the exact opposite. Oh, it was pleasant. It was the perfect temperature of a day. I think it was like. 80 degrees the entire time. We've had some great weather the past 20 days, right. 80s and 90s. Oh, just yeah. beautiful, right? Right. But yeah, so uh, beautiful weather the entire time. And I think we saw every animal except for two, and that was the serval and the snow leopard. And both of those are pretty elusive anyway. Sure, but most of them were out and active. Out and about. Like the lion, he was pacing around right near the top of the den. Yeah. And there were a couple of times as we were like kind of between the lion and the zebra enclosure where he like looked directly at me. <laughs> you know, like. That's always great. Staring me yeah. down, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really cool. Sorry about the chain link fence. Otherwise, <laughs> I'd be your meal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly. But that's um, but that's an encounter, you know? Right, that's like a right. up yeah. close. Yeah, I got to stare a lion in the eyes. Yeah. Not only that, but also the guy I went with, he had never had Dippin' Dots before. <laughs> oh! So I got him some Dippin' Dots. Uh, it's the, the ice cream the of Oreo the future. Ones. Okay, now here's the funny Sanch thing. Since 1880. <laughs> right? <laughs> here's the funny thing about these ones. Instead of the normal little cups that they came in, it comes in a pouch. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so you can just kind of... style. Okay, like Gogurt? I mean, it wasn't like gooey, but yeah, it came in like kind of a like that shape pouch. Okay, so yeah, not like quite... Double, double wide of Gogurt. Yeah. And like probably... To a third, uh, like a third chopped off. But of it. rather than messing with a bowl and a spoon, right? You could just dump it in your mouth. I love it. <laughs> it was genius, That's honestly. Genius. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of cool, and there were a couple of really nice uh, encounters that I had where, like, okay, I sent you the picture of the fennec fox. Yes. Who was? Let's so put cute. this up. Oh. Yeah. Just no oh, baby. Just being a little baby. Oh. He was napping. Right? So, like, there's the glass, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's a shelf, right? Perpendicular next to the glass. And he was right there on the shelf. Oh. Like, he was on display himself. And he was just napping away. He didn't care. <laughs> Fennel fox. Wait, Fennec. not, not, yeah. Fennec <laughs> foxes. Uh huh. And have you ever heard them laugh? Oh, they're so cute. On the tiki talkies? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Fennec foxes and red pandas. Oh. If I could just have a zoo with all. Just those. You know, actually, that's another one that I didn't get to see much of was the red panda. Yeah. I saw his little tail hanging down, but they're always so lazy hanging out in the back. They don't like to come up near the front. Somewhere on my Mike Helps Idaho Instagram in the last three weeks, there's mm -hmm. a, a red panda laying on. He's just oh. slumped over a block of <laughs> ice that they threw in there. And then it, he gives it an occasional <laughs> lick. And it's like, I want. That life. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds nice, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I love red pandas too. I like when they put up their stupid little paws. <laughs> yes. Yeah, is that a defense mechanism or it a is. greeting? No, it's a defense. Okay, but yeah, when yeah. they do the, like, you, you've- Because you, they've got such little arms, you know? They like barely go over their little heads. <laughs> you picture that right before that moment, a cop said, you, up against the wall. <laughs> right. Drop right. it. 
<laughs> red panda. They're so cute, though. I love red pandas. You know, I actually made a really funny observation. A lot of the animals over in the Little Asia area are gingers. Oh, funny. Because they've got the red panda. They've got the red crowned crane. Uh, they've got the tigers, which I would argue is ginger. Uh, yeah. You know. And you being a ginger, you would you know your gingers. I notice. Yeah. I notice. You know your Ed Sheerans. <laughs> yeah. And your um, Elizabeth Olsons. I, yeah, yeah. And your tigers. And my Rebas. Yes, and your Rebas. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, kind of funny. <laughs> you love your Reba. <laughs> I do. That's Carly's old woman show. Yeah, it's been my comfort show lately, and it's so yeah. good. And you know, honestly, as a divorcee, it does kind of like it makes me appreciate the whole series a little bit more. Okay. Now, thank goodness I don't have kids in the mix or anything. But like, but I mean, you could say that about a lot of pop cultures. It's right. relatable to different people in different times of their lives. Right, right. Anyway, it's like been right great. now, I'm on Breaking Bad. But it was still really fun, and I love Bat Night, and I love getting to support the zoo. And it's only like six or seven bucks a pop. Yeah. So I think it's well worth it, and you get to see the tigers and stuff too, or we, sorry, the lions and stuff too. I yeah. think it's worth it. And ligers. Yeah. Yeah. And bears. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, I actually got a really cute video of the sloth bears playing together. <laughs> All right. We'll put that up too. Yeah. Fantastic. They're such little turds. I love the sloth <laughs> bears. <laughs> That's super cute. Okay. I take it back. Fennec foxes, red pandas, mm -hmm. and these sloth bears. Uh -huh. That's just, they're, they're loaded they're with cute, cuteness. Right? Yeah. And they kind of do the little thing too <laughs> with their little hands up. Yeah. Uh, the otters were pretty cute too, but I didn't mm, get any good videos of them. Otters, always penguins. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. and they do penguin feedings every morning at 10 a.m. too. Okay. So you got, and the cool thing was that one of the zookeepers came out and talked to you a little bit about them before they did it. Mm -hmm. They were talking specifically about this one, pegu this one penguin named Marge, I think was her name, and how she's a little old lady and she's like kind of hunched over and stuff <laughs> and when we were watching her feed him you could see exactly which one she was because yeah. she was all hunched over and here's the thing that just killed me she's given up on life mostly she's just here for the fish well here's what killed me she's both got times, long blue hair both times i saw her with a fish in her mouth she ended up dropping it into the pool and i was oh, like oh marge so she's not large marge no no oh. she had a really hard time keeping her fish marge, to the we point were where, for you to the point where as we were leaving the exhibit the zookeeper had gone out the other side and she was feeding some of the uh penguins in the yard and i yelled over the fence and i was like hey just so you know marge dropped both of her fish in the water and she's like no that's usual it's okay she had her first fish that had her medicine in it and she'll have more later and she'll be fine and i was like <laughs> okay i just want to make sure because she's just yeah. a lady <laughs> take care of marge yeah. but yeah and you know that's actually kind of a great segue because the thing is i know that a lot of people get kind of bummed out that zoos like have these animals in them and they're like oh i just wish the animal could run free da, da, da. but the thing is nine times out of ten the animals that are actively in zoos can't live in the wild right they don't have what it takes they don't have the skills Kinda for like whatever <laughs> <laughs> right if there were a zombie apocalypse you would just lie I, down and give up i would absolutely you, I would. i'm not fighting that fight you do not have the skills to survive <laughs> and i'm okay with that in walking deadland yeah if there was a human yeah. if the if the zombies set up a human zoo and they wanted a ginger exhibit i would absolutely be there for that yeah Okay, sure, that's fine. Because I know they'll take care of me and I don't have to do anything and I can lay on a block of ice and occasionally <laughs> lick it all day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would be great. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe we're not so unalike you and I. I, mean, right, yeah, right. I, I identify as that. Yeah, but anyway. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but the thing that I love about the zoo is that it does have a really big emphasis on conservation. Um, as a matter of fact, as soon as you walk in, they actually give you these little coins for conservation where you get to drop it into one of three options and they'll like actively donate funds to those causes oh, cool. based on how many coins each gets, sure. which I think is pretty cool. All right. Um, and like I said, these animals aren't going to live in the wild anyway. I'd rather them be in zoos and be alive than be out of zoos and be dead. <laughs> so, right. And it means I get to watch them eat and be cute and sleep <laughs> on ice. So, 